Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The accelerated development of China's chip equipment in recent years is due to the measures taken by the United States in 2019. Since then, China's chip industry chain has made great efforts to promote the technological progress of domestic chip equipment. Domestic chip manufacturers have also since then at the same time, we realized the risk of adopting foreign funded equipment and accelerated the replacement of domestic chip equipment and cooperated with each other to accelerate the progress of domestic chip equipment. According to the data disclosed earlier in the industry, the eight major links of chip manufacturing have basically reached the 14 nanometer level. The only lagging behind is the lithography machine. The most advanced equipment is the etching machine, which has reached the 5 nanometer level. It is said that the domestically produced 5 nanometers etching machine has been approved by TSMC. In addition to accelerating the localization of chip equipment, the localization of chip materials is also accelerating. Earlier, NTU Optoelectronics launched a 5 nanometer photoresist. The photoresist was almost monopolized by the United States and Japan. The supply of photoresist by Samsung and others led to difficulties in their chip manufacturing. The importance of these materials can be seen. Later, Samsung and other Korean companies concentrated their efforts on developing their own photoresist and got rid of their dependence on Japanese photoresist. Now China has also made a breakthrough in photoresist, breaking the monopoly of the United States and Japan in photoresist. China's rapid localization of the chip equipment industry confirms Bill Gates' statement that restrictions cannot stop the progress of China's chips, but instead cause huge losses to the U.S. chip industry and accelerate the development of China's chip industry. The achievements of the U.S. chip industry confirm this fact, and the U.S. chip industry will continue to expose news of performance decline, layoffs, and market value halving in 2022. Chips can be said to be the big killer of the U.S. technology industry. Relying on the leading edge of chip technology, the U.S. technology industry enjoys huge profits. However, the rise of Chinese chips in recent years has made U.S. chips feel threatened. For this reason, the U.S. has taken measures against China's chip industry. Some special measures, however, recently news came that the United States could no longer stop Chinese chips from changing lanes and overtaking. The U.S. technology industry relies on chip technology to enjoy huge profits. In the PC industry, the Wintel Alliance in the United States has monopolized the PC market for many years. As a result, Microsoft and Intel have made huge profits. Intel's net profit margin has been above 20% for a long time, and Microsoft's net profit margin has been as high as 30% or even 40%. In contrast, the net profit margins of the world's top two PC companies are only single digits, and the lowest net profit margin is only about 2%. In the mobile phone chip industry, Qualcomm even enjoys the huge profits in the mobile phone industry. Qualcomm's patent fee is based on the overall selling price of the mobile phone, and charges 3.5% to 5% of the patent fee. It is ironically called a Qualcomm tax, which is only a patent fee. Qualcomm can extract nearly 200 yuan in patent fees from a mobile phone, while the net profit margin of domestic mobile phones is only about 5%. In the mobile market, 
In addition to the huge profits made by Qualcomm, Google, which provides the Android system, also made huge profits. In 2016, Oracle's lawyers released data indicating that Google earned more than 30 billion US dollars from the Android system, and the profit was more than 20 billion US dollars. The profit rate is as high as 60%, and the huge profits make the industry dumbfounded. In addition to earning huge profits, the United States has used its leading advantages in chips, software, and other technologies and its monopolized market share to support the U.S. Internet in the global market. Outside the Chinese market, Google's Google Search, Google Earth, YouTube, etc. occupy mobile most of the market share in similar industries in the Internet market is inseparable from the support of the monopoly position of the Android system and the monopoly position of the operating system is inseparable from the support of the dominant chip industry in the United States. However, with the rise of Chinese chips, the United States is deeply threatened. For this reason, the United States frequently takes action against China's chip industry, trying to prevent the development of China's chip industry and ensure the monopoly of the U.S. technology industry in the global market. Chinese chips change lanes and overtake. In the past 10 years, China's mobile phone chip industry can be said to be the benchmark of Chinese chips. The mobile phone chip developed by a Chinese mobile phone chip company has posed a huge threat to Qualcomm and Apple technically. In the mobile phone chip market, the technology of this Chinese mobile phone chip company has been comparable to that of Qualcomm. As a result, it has captured nearly half of the domestic market share in the high-end mobile phone chip market. Rate In the high-end mobile phone market where Apple dominates, this Chinese mobile phone company once achieved a 17% market share in the global high-end mobile phone market, forming a three-legged rivalry with Apple and Samsung. Apple divides the world equally. Seeing the many technological advantages achieved by this Chinese mobile phone company, the United States took the initiative to restrict chip foundries such as TSMC from producing chips for this Chinese mobile phone company. However, this Chinese mobile phone company did not stop because of this, insisting on research and develop chip technology, and still promote technological innovation in many chip industries. Therefore, the United States took further measures against the Chinese chip industry, requiring ASML not to sell EUV lithography machines to China. Later, it further asked ASML not to sell DUV lithography machines below 14 nanometers to China, thereby preventing the development of China's chip industry. According to recent news from Chinese chips, Chinese chips have begun to change lanes and overtake. This new chip technology is called photonic chip technology. A chip company in Beijing is preparing to build the world's first photonic chip production line, which is expected to be put into production within this year. The performance of photonic chips will be 1,000 times higher than that of existing silicon-based chips. The power consumption is only one thousandth of that of silicon-based chips. What worries the United States in particular is that photonic chips will not require advanced EUV lithography machines, and even domestically made 90 nanometer lithography machines can produce photonic chips with performance comparable to 5 nanometer silicon-based chips. In this way, China will develop advanced chips it will no longer need to be affected by lithography machines, and in terms of performance, it will even surpass the silicon-based chips dominated by the United States. 
Once China's photonic chips are mass-produced, the current difficulties faced by Chinese chips will be solved, and a new chip technology system will be opened up, while the chip technology system on which the U.S. technology industry was founded will collapse, and the U.S. technology industry will dominate the world. The system will also collapse as a result. So foreign media commented that the United States can no longer stop the advancement of Chinese chips.